Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, due to some technical fault, uh, I had to hold on my trick. Uh, is uh, self awareness. This is the in-house training from Black Diamond Public School, presented by uh, myself, Anish Shepard, a special educator. And uh, today, exactly, we are going to see what this self awareness means to all of us. First, let us come to this word awareness. Awareness is a state of being conscious of something most specifically, it is the ability to directly know and perceive, to feel or to be cognizant of events. Another definition describes it as a state wherein a subject aware of some information when that information is directly available to bring to bear in the direction of a wide range of behavior action. The concept is often synonymous to conscientiousness and understand itself. Then we come to the word self-awareness. Now joining self to the failing habit and everything else that makes you stick along. The more you know about yourself, the better are the adapting life changes that suits your needs. Now self-awareness is having a clear perception of your personality, motivation and emotions. Now, let us come to the characteristics of personality. Now, what is personality? The five stages of personal development in a childhood takes place. Physiosexual stages, which are the oral, anal, phallic, latency and genital stages. There are also five aspects including Extroversion, agreeableness, openness, consanguineous, and neurotism. Some also include like mental aspects, spiritual aspects, emotional aspects, physical and social, and not forgetting moral aspects. Self-awareness allows you to understand other people, how they perceive you, your attitude, your response to them in that very moment. Self-awareness represents the capacity of becoming the object of own attention. Self-development is a process of consciously improving yourself in various aspects of life, personal growth, improving competencies, talent and knowledge in order to see self-fulfillment and true activity reach your fullest potential. When you become self-aware, you know your strength your weakness and your personality type. Personal development means refers to how the organized patterns of behavior that make up each person unique personality emerges over time. Many factors go into the influencing personality which include genetics, environmental, parenting and social variables. Self-awareness is the first step in creating what you want and mastering your life where you focus your attention on your emotions, reactions, personality and behavior determine where you go in life. Now, emotions. It is a 
complex experience of consciousness, bodily sensation, and behavior that reflects in the personal significance of a thing, an event or state of affairs. What emotions do we really have? See over here, we can say sadness, happiness, fear, anger, surprise, and disgust. Now, these are the things that we always carry along with ourselves. But do we really know who is the actual creator of these? They are actually the brain, the brain that creates, the brain that masters it, the brain that orders having self-awareness allows you to see where your thoughts and emotions are taking you. Reaction. Now reactions, what are the reactions? Reactions are the feelings, the sentiments, the sensations. Now developing is away from self-awareness. Now once you be a self-aware, then your emotions, reactions, personality and behavior within mention will go along with you throughout your life. Having self-awareness allows you to see where your thoughts and emotions are taking you. It is also allowing you to take control of your emotions, the behavior, your personality, which makes the changes you want. Now, it totally depends on how you have to maintain, to come, to control. Your thoughts, your emotions must be under your control. Your emotions should be under your control. Your behavior, the inner and the outer, both. This type of controlling is the first advancement of personality development. Now there is a question. Is everybody a genius where self-awareness is concerned? Well, every person has his own set of talents, and skills, and preferences. There are so many stories you can go to seeing different types of uh, people around you. There are people who are very humorous. There are people who are very gloomy. There are people who keep away from the crowd, who keep away from the parties, who keep away from a lot of social activities. Now, being a person, you have to, like everyone, everyone has talents. Everyone has to be searching their own inner talents. Now you have the abilities, you have the skills, but at what happens is you come to a halt because no one helps you with your inner talents. You have hidden talents, you have lots of talents. But no one approaches you or no one bring, tries to bring out your talent, your abilities. Your abilities are very remarkable. Your skills and your preferences. Now, I am a very talented person. One can say when he is a master of something or he is not a master of something. But trying to take out a talent from somebody, it takes Another talent means the person should have another talent. That means his talent is to take out the people's other talents. 
abilities abilities skills are your preferences what self awareness then everybody has to go through this stage initially or later or even the later part let me draw your attention towards my break type indicator both in chart are and p t i now i am going to just give a statistical information regarding this extra version and intro version now these are two words now they are type of indicator no extra version or central dimension in some human as an attitude type which we can say is external object but yes sir now this type of characterized people are very uh, in a very orientation but the uh, subject content now over here you see in extra version the concentration of interest of a person is uh, totally depending on external object but uh, whereas in two version uh, we have these are uh, that the attitude type they they the concentration and orientation they go to a very subjective content now these are some of the uh, indicators uh, now we are coming to the next indicators like sensing and intuiting sensing and intuiting now actually sensing this actually uh, what we actually mean is focuses sensing that really focuses on what can be detected through senses detected through senses but intuiting this totally focuses on the impression and patterns of gathered information now this is actually detected sensing is detected through focus on what can be detected through senses but intuiting is the impression and patterns from gathered information that means from various information we come to the next thinking feeling now thinking and feeling the thinking means t and f that thinking are or thinking is one of the preferences used as a thought and feeling is not about being over emotional we decide through logic or considering people they are both helpful and necessary at time now thinking we may vary in different stages of thinking feelings may vary differently so thinking your thought and feeling that means how you feel the thought is totally different from feeling feeling is not about being over emotional as i said that can be decided through logic or depends on how we can or considering people which are both helpful and necessary at times not judging and perceiving not perceiving 
is a very flexible word that we always have been using. Judging is more of another personal way of thinking. Our thought, our thinking, our sensing, our intuiting, when judging is more than evaluation and perceiving is not about looking things they are about. But how we approach life in such a way or on an open flexible way. Open flexible way. So these are actually the type of indicators uh, we come across where self-awareness is concerned. Now self-awareness, we always talk about aware. Now commonly we ask a question, are you aware of the things that are going behind you? Means what? Means do you know exactly what is happening right behind you? Means when you are not present over there, are you aware what is happening at that particular place? Or we can take it in a, a very uh, in a, another way. Are you aware of the program today? That means I am asking the next person whether he is aware of today's program, whether he knows about today's program, whether he has information beforehand regarding the particular program that has been organized or going to be organized or it will be organized. So being aware means you are asking that particular person whether he is aware. Now, let me come to uh, uh, explaining this. Becoming aware of a lot of things. We in commonly, there are a lot of things that we should be aware of. We should be aware of our dress code. We should be aware of our personality. We should be aware of facing the person standing before you. We should be aware of entering certain areas. We should be aware of social well, so, uh, activities or social uh, uh, where we uh, socialize. We, sh we should be aware of ourselves that we are or we can or we must or are we accepted in that particular area. So you have to be aware before you proceed. Now, fright, fear, as it is uh, mentioned uh, previously, like development, we say, personal development, self awareness, and then added with career development. Now, over here, self awareness and career development. That means studies have shown that individuals who are self-aware, that means being aware of your studies, make more compatible career choices. They perform better and longer in their employment and in their positions. Like I have previously said, that uh, studies have shown for career development, studies have shown that individuals who are self-aware make more compatible career choices. They perform better and they last much longer in wherever they have been employed and in their respective positions. They also derive more satisfaction from work. That means employment, career. Career means over here we must add that particular word self-awareness. Self-awareness. Unless you are aware of yourself or the self-awareness is the only objective that leads you or leads every individual to a very compatible career choices and 
perform better, work in best of positions and with the satisfaction from their work they last for a longer period of time. Choosing a career. Now studies, then building up your career, then choosing a career that which is very compatible with your interests and motivations. This will also help you find a greater satisfaction in your work. Role of self-awareness also plays a very important in the career choice. Knowing your strengths and weaknesses, self-awareness helps you also to exploit your strengths and cope up with your weaknesses. Without self-awareness, you cannot understand your strengths, your weaknesses, then becomes your superpowers versus your kryptonite. Now, how to become self-aware stands a very big question here. How do we stand or how to become more self-aware? Now, we, we have a few points. Look at yourself objectively. Keep a journal record. Next, write down your goals, your plans, your priorities. Perform daily self reflection. Practice meditation and mindful habits. Yes, practice meditation. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, we have a little network problem here. So as I was uh, talking about uh, how to become more self-aware about yourself. Self-aware. That means, as I said, you should be looking at yourself very objectively. You should be keeping a journal. Then plan your goals and priorities. Perform daily self-reflection. Now self-reflection, what is people as likeless or whatsoever that uh, they watch upon you or what they see in you, your activities, your action, then automatically we come to know that developing self-awareness upon yourself. Now if you ask anyone that we cannot trust. Now if we ask Tom, we can have it. Are Mere Bhane Patao Professor. See, they are all flatterers. Falsely, oh, you look very handsome. You are one of the uh, superheroes. Your personality is very cool. See, you have to trust a very knowing friend that he can read you not only from outside but from inside means your inner self projects your outer personality also. Personality development is not about uh, just dressing up good clothes, wearing costly clothes and uh, inside your house. That is not the development. So skills of development, improvement of projects, should normally, normally begin with an assessment. So we hear also with ourselves we have to continuously look into these points that we have just uh, discussed. Now actually what causes lack of self-awareness? Many human flaws or cognitive biases that keep us from making rational decisions. This was the lack of self-awareness. So if you don't know what self-serving 
bias or negativity bias the spotlight you are in the right place but then you, a significant part of your happiness is a result of your personal outlook be aware of your own emotions and mindset which is very very important and uh, that is the vital step towards happiness without self awareness you cannot understand your strength or your weaknesses then where can you get your super power can you get it no then kryptonite then you have to they along with your super powers versus your kryptonite that means again once again you have to look into yourself that is why we we have been always using i have been always using self awareness this can help you to strengthen your weaknesses control your emotions and so on but then if you are not aware of your self awareness this can exploit you your strength your emotions your weaknesses now i personally know some very smart people that uh, hold on impressive careers and degree i came across such people in my life but then ultimately lack of good sense of self awareness on the other hand i know who are considered the smartest maybe outside or also in class but who do i consider to be very wise all humans are prone to a number of cognitive biases and often have negative impact on them we find ourselves in situations where there is clear rational and logical things to do but these biases keep us from doing so and make us look foolish or unaware as a result for this we need good communication skills the communication skills we can list them this way first you have to be a good listener then a good speaker then become a good writer now analytical and research skills are also very necessary then flexibility and adaptability now you have to adapt something you have to be flexible you have to be space given and adapt to the environment the nature and it narrates you then there is also one interpersonal activity and now interpersonal activity play a very role model in our lives so flexibility and adaptability and interpersonal activity are also connected to our current communication skills that is listening speaking and writing well coming again back to development that is skill development normally the skill development depends on the improvement of projects which should normally begin with an assessment of the gap between the current situation and desired future situation the current situation 
that means the projects with an assessment of the gap a gap between the current situation and the desired future situation having an accurate sense of who you are or how it helps you to decide what you should do to improve it. often self awareness will relieve or reveal a skills gap that want to work on here uh, i would like to share the skill development for control now low skills perpetual poverty and inequality this is the low skill what they show low skills put uh, in front of you the lines of poverty and inequality when done right skills development it can reduce an un or un under development under employment increase productivity improve standards of living basic skills also include the knowledge of math english ict now these are for basics because we use this in everyday life every moment so here it says often self awareness of understanding the basic skill also reveal a skillful gap that one would want to work on needs an emotional gratification what is important here the needs an emotional emotional gratification affection belongingness achievement self actualization power and control by applying our skills to our chosen career we derive gratification or happiness but understanding our personalities which help us find situations and which we will thrive which will help us avoid situations in which we experience too much stress now coming to the key areas of self awareness we don't normally change our personalities values and needs based on what we learn about ourselves for instance if you are highly introverted you should either learn skill to cope up with demand of a sales position that requires extrovert type behavior or you should find a position that is more compatible with your personality then coming to the key areas of self awareness key areas of self awareness i have it the behavior that we repeatedly routinely 
and often automatically is seen in us. So our habits, we, we have to culture our habits, we have to change our behaviors, which we are repeating very routinely and very often it automatically tries to exist in us, not getting an exit out of our awareness. Now, generally, every day we get up with the same routine. Now, for instance, if you are working as a school teacher, if you are an office goer, or if you are a businessman, it becomes a daily habit. Get up in the morning as a student, get up in the morning, set your routine for books, have your breakfast, run off to the bus, back to school. Again, the same routine is followed. The first period is the same, the second period is the same. This follows throughout the week. So is the, the businessman, so is with the teachers, the same class, the same student, the same way, the path is same. So over here, we automatically are repeating our behaviors, our habits. Although we would like to possess these habits that help us interact effectively, but we have to probably identify at least one of our habits that may decrease our, our effectiveness. Although we would like to possess these habits, but we should also have to cultivate the new by applying our skills to our chosen career. Again we are coming to the key areas of self-awareness, the values. It's, an, it's very important that we each know and focus on our personal values. During the birthday, so many problems and opportunities arise, the list of things to do can easily exceed the time we have to do them. When we focus on our values, we are more likely to accomplish what we consider the most important. Habits, now back to habits, our habits are the behaviors that we repeat routinely and often very automatically. Needs. One of the advantages of knowing which needs exert the strongest influence on our own behaviors is the ability to understand how they affect our interpersonal relationships. Emotions. See, these are part of self-awareness. Now, breaking up step by step, we are coming to each key. As I said, emotions earlier, I have discussed about emotions, how they are effective and ineffective in our personal development. Emotional self-awareness has become a hot topic of discussion. Recently, because it is one of the five facets of emotional intelligence, understanding your own feelings, what causes them, and how they impact your thoughts and actions, is also emotional self-awareness. 
self awareness how can one develop your personal development first of all be grateful and recognize your worth that means first love yourself like yourself unless you love yourself you like yourself you will not like anybody or neither can you love anybody so that is the first step learn to love yourself first be a you first love yourself first then focus on what you have what you already have think about how others benefit from what you do if you improve yourself those benefits will increase your personal development is for others as well as for you now give up comparing yourself to others you are unique with your own special power talents and the gifts bestowed on you there is no one else in the world just like you get away your fear of failure whatever your desire or need is there is a market for it and people are waiting for you why do you admire most or who do you admire most if you are struggling to notice where your seeds of potential need to be sown just look around you for people you may admire and so respect if you admire someone who is compassionate or incredibly kind to others it is likely that you see something in them that is also present in you but we have we fail as a self first like yourself love yourself then only you will see something in them what is already present in you admit your imperfections focus on your strength manage your weakness you are worthy of success and happiness once you develop and be aware of your self awareness now develop team self awareness in our students what we have to actually work on or what should we actually show them the path to the personal development self awareness so let us give them or let us list out the tips that they should be working on anybody positive awareness they should list or we should list the things we like about ourselves so this let us list let us make a list that is creating a positive awareness then discussing the thoughts discussing the thoughts the actions the feeling and the circle you are in keep an emotional or rather emotion journal establish and work toward goals use your strength
teaching self awareness now let us uh, go with the five effective activities identify your emotion that means recognize the link between feelings thought actions to react properly then see yourself honestly this sense will acknowledge both positive and negative things in their nature next if you recognize your strength and your weakness and say and to admit they are wrong acknowledging attitudes also build confidence work towards growth they understand that self growth and growth of positive activity resulting in healthy and happy person for every nation there is a direction to which they face so hasten toward all that is good for that know thyself that means loving your self see these are the things we usually fail to understand the word self awareness does not give a clear perception of uh, personality so we often fail to be aware of ourselves then then once again we forget the development of our personality we fail to understand our strengths weaknesses the thoughts the motivations and also we become very careless about our emotions and we close ourselves into one compact way of understanding us so that is why often our attitude and our response is in a very compact man see if you want to master your life a developed personality we have to go through this self awareness which is the first step in creating what you want it also controls your thoughts and emotions it also allows you to take control which is most important control your behavior then you will find everybody is a genius but then you should know thyself change or perish this is where our challenge lies why not why not we change why not we be aware of ourselves be aware of the social life be aware when war peace 
happiness, sadness that is spread all over the world, all over the place. So should we not know or should we not be aware? You should be only aware if someone arises from awareness in you. Then where is your self-awareness? That is why if you know yourself, change. Change with your self-awareness. is a path to inner peace. Now, by acquiring all the self-awareness, why do you say a path to inner peace? Because this is the only, only thing that is going to help you out into a better personal inwardly as well as your external. One can say that I have seen a drastic development in this particular person. Now how can you acquire this? You you have to you have to be aware. You have to be aware of so many things. You have to be aware of your thoughts. You have to be aware of your feelings. You have to be aware of your emotions. There are so many things one should be aware and when you control, when you gain control over all these, leaving the negativity and walking the path of where we are that particular person. You can see it. You can feel it. Or you can rather feel the sense of his change. Minute Values. This is this is the most important uh, way we should know each other and focus on personal values. Be it of work day. So many problems arise, but at the same time, so many opportunities do arise. We forget that every every person is having or they are rather with problems but then as I said opportunities rise we can easily exceed the time to do it better to accomplish what we consider most important then we as I said, as I discussed about, our habits are habits. We, we should not make it a, a very a routine habit and actually make it very automatically. Uh, we say, sir, automatically I, I, I have just, uh, it is my time to get up. So I get up. No, you cannot make your habits uh, very routine or anything. You should break that uh, routine. You may, each day is a different day, so each day is a different day. There are certain habits like good manners, good manners, good habits, but certain things are uh, sometimes we repeat it very routinely and then we blame it, so it is automatically it is my type of thinking. No, we have to break, we have to break the ties. Although we possess these habits, we can probably lose and use least of these habits that uh, decrease or that decreases our effectiveness. The key of needs 
Now needs, everybody, everybody needs. Now we need, what we need is a very strong influence that is on our behavior. Our behavior, we, our behavioral change changes from time to time. So, keeping a very strong command over our behaviors and the ability to understand how they are affecting our interpersonal relationships. So, when we come down with these keys and we auto automatically come toward the self-awareness. Emotions. Now, what are emotions actually? I have just earlier mentioned about emotions. Emotionally, self-awareness has five emotional intelligences that I have discussed with you. So, the impact of your thoughts and actions is emotionally self-awareness. So finally, I come to the conclusion that self-awareness is the key to personal development. We should always have and carry a very strong feeling about self-awareness. This is the only key that develops your personality. And I hope you have gone through this program. And thank you so much for keeping up with me.